Hello everyone, this is Victor with you here from theforexboat.com once again and we will be looking at yet another trade idea for this and potentially upcoming week. So what we are looking at is the gold, the gold chart. But before we start, as usual, I would like to remind you that all the information here is for educational purpose only and should not be considered as financial advice. Okay, and also before we start, uh, let's go back to our previous ideas, which was Great British Pound, Euro versus GBP. You can see this was our trade idea. It was buy and close at 0 0.9. So this was perfect trade. It uh, reached to take profit, actually went much higher. Uh, and this was a good setup. Now, the next idea was GBP, Australian dollar. We were talking about this range where the market might stay or break above. So currently we're still uh, within this range and we need to see whether four hour uh, candle will break above or not. If it will break above, this is most likely invalidates the trade setup for the shorting, but overall it still is within the range. So that we're still considering this uh, opportunity uh, where this pair can go down. Now we will finally go to the gold. On the gold, I can see a very interesting scenario. We clearly see on the weekly chart ascending channel and the price did break the ascending channel right there. What has happened then, it we produced a highest high and price has reached actually $1,700 per one troy ounce. And now uh, we actually rejecting the very same channel. So our uh, ascending channel trend line is acting as a support. You can see that price failed to, clo uh, to close below it. And also we see the rejection of the 50 moving average, exponential moving average, which is also very, very good. Now this looks like the bullish tendency will continue. And I'm gonna jump on a daily chart now. Now on the daily chart, what we see here, is this area of support. It's, it's just very, very strong for gold and it's located near uh, 1,450. Uh, price has been rejecting it. It has been acting as a resistance, then there's a support. And once again, it's a support. And here also 200 exponential moving average on the daily time frame is rejected. This is very good. So um, it looks like this could be the area of demand where price can start rising to the upside, but uh, it might not be immediately. So there is time for this consolidation period. Now for the upside, I think that even if it's a long-term uptrend continuation, it is safer to go for the potential double top. This is uh, would be the safest scenario. And I usually use in stocks, in uh, cryptocurrencies, when the market is volatile, it's very good to use 88.6 Fibonacci retracement. And we have it near uh, $667, $68. That would be my upside target for, uh, for this potential upcoming rally to the upside. And we are going to go to the 15 minute chart here. What we see is basically the scenario that I do expect so this is what we see here that price rejected 78 78.6 fips all right i probably should put it a bit lower but here here we go it it it's, it's rejected this price and then broke below 200 moving average on the 15 minute time frame what i think will happen is this correction move to the downside and one of these fibonacci levels could be uh, could be acting as a support. As long as price doesn't close below this level, I consider this to be an uptrend or like long-term uptrend continuation. Overall, this should play a key role, but, <clears throat> but we should look for not only 15 minutes candle close, but I would look for one and four hour candles to close, even the daily candle to close uh, below that to invalidate the bullish scenario. So yeah, this this is kind of what I expect. There is some range trading could be going on. Price can go even to 61.8 pips, which is uh, 1477. And this would be the area, uh, buying area. 
but overall we're already above the 200 exponential moving average so the buying opportunity i think has been presented it's already there and it's just the matter of how deep it can correct my personal probably the best pick would be the price near 1500 since this is the psychological support you can see the support is uh, 1503 dollars so 105 uh, one, 1505 dollars could be uh, the entry point for this trade stop loss i would be using probably the lowest low here but the main exit point for me would be the closure below this low if price manages to close it on one hour four hour and daily below that i would exit also uh, obviously you need to see the risk reward profile so it meets uh two to one where your risk is two times smaller than the potential profit so this is the idea on gold that we have it could be a very very nice rally within the next couple of days or couple of weeks we will see price might consolidate a little bit here for a day or two i don't think it will be a long-term consolidation but yeah that's the idea and i hope you did like it if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to the next video till next time it was victor with you from the forexbot.com take care